Hello everyone and welcome to Usatility. Today we are going to see how to play Ragnarok X Next Generation on PC using the amazing Bluestacks 5 that is designed for blazing fast speed and high octane action and it has faster performance than any other high-end Android device or Android platform. We will be able to easily download and install Ragnarok X Next Generation and enjoy the game on our Windows PC or laptop with keyboard, mouse and big screen thanks to Bluestacks 5 which is the Android emulator that we recommend to play Ragnarok X Next Generation. So without further ado, let's get to it. First of all buddies, to get started we have to open our main internet browser. We have here the one we prefer. Let's go to the current URL that I'm highlighting in green. There you are seeing it on the screen. There is no need to type anything, simply because I added the link in the video description and as well in the first main comment. After we click on this link, we get to the website of Bluestacks, which the Android emulator that we are going to use to play Ragnarok X Next Generation on PC. As you can discover here we have some advantages of preferring that emulator. So we are on the way to start downloading the Ragnarok X Next Generation by simply clicking on the button play on Bluestacks that I have marked in green. Next step is clicking on it, and the download starts and ends immediately. Here it is, this is the download. It is a file to execute. What we are going to do now is to launch the installer, OK, so we click on the file. If we are on Windows 10 it will have asked us for permission to allow changes to the device. We said yes. I minimize the browser to find the installer better. The installer is pretty simple. It consists of a couple of options, install and setup path. I am going to make it clear what setup path does indeed. We simply click on it, and then we observe that we have now here the path where your emulator can be installed. If we need to vary this directory we need to click on this, browse, button, therefore we decide on another folder and set up the emulator exactly where we prefer. I am going to keep it where it is. I simply click on back. So I simply click install. Voila! The setup starts and it is going to proceed together with the download of all these MB that are presented on our screen. At the time you download it, it might possibly be more or less MB. The data transfer speed can be faster or at a lower speed, subject to your type of access to the web and according to the speed of the emulator hosting servers. Right away they are working extremely fast. The download is finished, and now it proceeds with the installation phase. With Bluestacks 5 you can even reduce RAM usage with a single click. Especially useful if you ever face performance related problems. In addition, you can activate Eco Mode to enjoy 87% reduced CPU usage, 97% reduced GPU usage and easier multitasking. As you can see, Bluestacks 5 is built to provide stability and performance during long gaming sessions. The installation has already finished for me. At present, the emulator has been started automatically. As you can discover, down here, there's a progress bar that will fill up so when it comes to the finish, the emulator will be launched for the very first time. The fact is the emulator has been launched there for the first time. Before we continue on, as you will notice, it made a couple of icons here on the PC desktop. The Bluestacks and Bluestacks Multi Instance. Note that the Bluestacks app icon will be the one we are concerned with. Anytime we want to operate Ragnarok X Next Generation on our desktop or laptop, we double mouse click on this particular software icon and as a result start the emulator. The Bluestacks Multi Instance icon allows you to launch multiple emulator instances. And with Bluestacks 5's new improved Multi Instance Manager in Eco Mode, players can run more game instances faster and with less lag. Shall we perform the following step, which is a must-have, and that is to visit the Google Play Store. To do that we will go there to, System Apps, we click. And we will just click on Play Store. As you can see now the Google Play is started. Here we have to sign in. At this time once we are here, we are required to execute this next step which is imperative. Therefore we mouse click on, Sign In. Presently it says, Checking Info. It could sometimes get stopped at, Checking Info, and it doesn't continue. If that's the case, you may try to log in in after a number of hours and it'll very likely be fixed. At this time we will insert our email and password. The email address has to be a Gmail email as well as its corresponding password. For example, you can utilize the exact same email you use at this moment in your own YouTube account. So that I am going to type in my data and I'll revisit after I have done it. Voila! Details typed in. Here is Google welcoming us and offering us the twos. We are going to agree to all of them simply by clicking, I agree. Following that, it offers us to save to the Google Cloud. 
you can keep it checked and it'll build a backup of the files on this device to Google Drive. I won't check it, you do what you want, we just click on accept. Google Play Store is started by default and automatically. To set up the app game, we will need to browse the emulator desktop by clicking that icon indicated green colored. At this point that we are watching the desktop of this emulator, we see that we now have there the install application button. We just click on that button. On this page we get the game app. So let's mouse click here on the install option that I am just highlighting now in green. This action will begin the software installation. At this moment it will install the game app. It may take some time or perhaps it might possibly be almost immediate. It again all varies on the connection to the web. This has actually ended installing. It's time to go back to the emulator desktop by simply clicking this particular option that I am presenting in green to be able to run Ragnarok X next generation for the very first time. I am by then on the emulator desktop and consequently we are about to simply click on the new Ragnarok X next generation app icon that has been generated. This game app is launched for the first time. There we end up with it. I'm able to mouse click anywhere on the screen and also make use of the keyboard. I should discuss the volume of that emulator. It is here. We use the icon of higher volume as well as the icon of lower volume. This way we won't use the Windows volume to increase or decrease the sound experience of your emulator. And also to enjoy the experience to the maximum, we can activate the big screen, for which we have two alternatives. This one is the first one. We click on that icon that I am basically identifying in green. Thus the screen is maximized, coming with one border at the top, one on the right side and one at the bottom. Assuming that we need to launch the game in full screen, we mouse click on this game icon. And then we would likely already be experiencing and enjoying the game in full screen function. To get out of the full screen mode, hit the F11 key. And then we would probably already play in normal computer screen setting. At this point, I am starting to present you the keyboard mapping and that is extremely useful. That way we will certainly be ready to utilize the game application a lot more effortlessly. The first thing is to click on this application icon. And here you will have the ability to make the necessary adjustments. I can leave the default settings, but if you require to improve this, you can easily do so without having problem. Clearly, the emulator is totally in our own language. Once in a while it happens that the emulator is presented in the incorrect language, for instance, in Chinese. And as a consequence to set it in the proper language we click here to the cogwheel. Then there within other configurations, we just click the language drop down. We can easily choose the language we like, German, Chinese, and so forth. As soon as the language is decided, we are going to save, the emulator would restart, as well as the game application, next time we start it, would of course be in the preferred language. At present, you can find another detail that we must take into account, and this is that we will get a message from Gmail indicating that a completely new machine has been connected with this Google account. It is going to question us if we are the individuals who have connected that electronic device. That's right, we must not be troubled, as the emulator is emulating an Android device. So you can discover which smartphone or tablet is being emulated, we visit here, to the cogwheel and we simply click on it. Be sure to go here to the, model, choice. And here we realize that the emulator is emulating a Samsung mobile phone. And so we're going to receive an email saying that a new Samsung device has been connected to our Google account. That's all guys, so much for the tutorial. I believe you appreciated it, specifically that you found it informative. If that's the case, bring it a pleasant thumb up, subscribe, and if you have feedback, questions or ideas, put them in the comment field down below. Click on any of the video tutorials that are appearing on the computer screen and see you in the following videos. Bye.